You don't take cards, right? No, because it's free. We've got chocolate, mango, or strawberry. Five days away from sorbet, and I'm feeling quite overwhelmed. All that I can do right now is just trust that things are going to work out, be a bit more reassured in my abilities to put something like this together, just keep trekking forward. So that was the first Indigenous DJ I heard about. This guy is really giving back to community, and her inviting me here and being a part of this is, you know, massive. Do not do this at home. So thinking about getting my nails done. I haven't done a big gig in a while, so it's just been nice to have something to get dressed up for. I don't know, I always knew that if I was gonna do something, it was gonna be something creative. That's what I think I was, I've been trying to do with sorbets. This year, same focus on people of colour. I wanted to put out a whole bunch of people that just do really amazing things that people wouldn't necessarily see unless they knew them. curated a really like diverse lineup. It's the best way to bring everybody together because we all learn off each other like that as well. You know, we're trying to tell stories now. We're trying to write books, we're trying to we're trying to leave a message. We are two days out from Sorbets and today we are picking up some props. But I woke up pretty anxious like damn I hope people show up. about Sunday? I had a dream that it was at an RSL and I didn't go there until 8 p.m. and there were four people. Sky is actually my cousin um, but yeah outside of our relationship she is very community orientated and you know like Sky uses her platform to be able to uplift a uh, mob around her and especially people that don't necessarily have the voice or have the capacity to be able to share their story. So we're promoting an event that's happening on Sunday. So it's like live acts and DJs. Um, it's like a mixture of music, so a whole bunch of different artists and then they're gonna have DJs throughout the night. No, that's at Sydney Maya Music Bowl. I really love what each artist does and who they are. So, you know, if it's only like 10 people show up, 100 people, 1,000, whatever. Like, I'm happy with who I'm putting on stage and I'm excited for them to just be able to do their thing. Up, such good programming. Yeah, it's so yeah. like it's so like community focused, and it's so something you just don't focused. get, you know, at these sorts of venues. Yeah. yeah, I love it. I love sorbets as a concept and, a, and an event. Uh, it's actually different to what's been done before. Um, and it gives a platform to younger artists. Like um, young Rorty, who's actually my little cousin. He lives out in Burnsdale. Like, who can you really be in contact with that's going to help? I got a uh, swerve to help out with some of his music, make sure that he's stage ready and that. Yeah, I mentor because community is a big part of my focus. Um, that's why it's important to, to always give and share um, and just build everyone up around you. 
Oh. You fucking did it. You did really well for the first gig. Amazing for a first gig. Wow. I'm just glad I finally get to perform my songs. Finally. Yeah, first time. Yeah. There's more to come, though. There's more to come. Before I even got here today, I was like, you know, everything else might fall apart, but I put together such a really beautiful set of people to come and be a part of this and I'm proud that I was able to bring them together. This is the one thing I knew I didn't need to worry about was the artists and what they were going to do because I have so much faith in all of them. <laughs> well, the night is over. I just want to say thank you to every single person who came through not here for a show, you're here for an experience. I'm forever grateful that people still want to put their time and effort and money into me. So, um, love yous. <laughs> all right, and I guess after all of that, um, get out, we're done. <laughs> Thank you.